Okay, so today I'm going to go into the sequence of events that led up to uh, Scott Murray's untimely death at the age of 27. We only go on what we see when we post it online, pictures, emails, that sort of thing. Right, the first image we see of them around the age of 21 and uh, so we went to an expert, we wanted to bulk up, talked about this before, we went on the paleo diet, we got a lot thinner. He was unhappy with that build that he had. The first sign we have of body dysmorphia. Body dysmorphia. Right? He was unhappy with that. He was too, too, I thought he was too skinny. I thought he looked very good. Looked very healthy. That was his natural physique. To me, it looked sort of a petite guy like myself, middle distance runner maybe. So after that, the next picture we see of him, we bulked up. We went uh, went on a surplus cal calorie diet. And he got he got a lot bigger. Still looked pretty good in my opinion. Looked uh, very healthy, good shape, very lean, very lean. And then it's around 2016, 2017, 2018 period. YouTube channel was taken off. We can only go on what we see in the thumbnail pics. Like in his videos we don't actually see his physique. But it's mainly in pictures, thumbnail pics and that sort of thing. And, and Facebook pictures. And the Facebook page. So then there's a two year period. We don't really see anything. And he comes back then. Around 2020. And he's gotten a lot bigger. A lot bigger. Doesn't look good in my opinion. Doesn't suit him. That's just my opinion. But anyway, they said we have clear sign of body dysmorphia. The other sign we have that's alarming because he seems to be a bit of a workaholic. So, seems to be a bit of a workaholic. He's working. He seems to be sleeping about three to four hours a night. So that's extreme. He's, he's really intense with the job, really focused on it, it's really consuming his life because it's a channel and the, it's diet related and then we got, he's doing personal coaching, fitness related and he's cooking, his channel is like a cooking sort of thing, he's in the shop and then he, and then he, and then he cooks food And you can never know really, like are they eating the food or not, you know. Very rare channels where they just turn on the recorder and just start recording. So, so his videos are heavily edited. You know, you go and what he allows us to see about himself. So, there seems to be some personal issues going on around this time as well. We mentioned the body this morning, we mentioned the workaholism, lack of sleep, very focused on food. The next really big warning sign, I start seeing a major deterioration around the 21 period. There's a video around January 2022.
I was, I was looking at his and uh, I see him in the supermarket like a lot of his videos You see something very alarming. You see bruises, blisters, sores on the knuckles, on the knuckles. And some other warning signs in this video as well. The big one that struck me is that on this one is the bruise, uh, is the cuts or the blisters on the knuckles. That's a sign of bulimia. Because Scott, like myself, has a big overbite, big teeth. And what happens is, when the person's making themselves get sick all the time, repetitively, the the knuckles rub against the uh, the rub against the teeth. Other 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 alarming signs in the video is uh, very very skinny. Underweight, very underweight, obviously with the eating disorder that we've now identified. And then under the eyes, very heavy, lack of sleep, as I said. The skin, you know, a skeleton face, but the skin as well is showing signs of, of, of some sort of liver problems. I mean, this is January. And we, don't, we don't know how long this has been going on for. You know, he mentions uh, personal experience, personal troubles. It may have, it may have deteriorated the situation, but the, the, the signs of something wrong were there for quite a while. And <coughs> this doesn't just happen overnight. So, those are the real warning signs of Scott that we see. You also see uh, in that video around January 22, it's two months before he died, the top of his head, the top of his head, the crown of his head is gone bald. That happens in eating disorders. Uh, could just be bad genetics, maybe, but it, 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 to me it seems unlikely. So. So that brings us to the question, you know, what killed him? The answer to that The answer to that is simple. All of it. All of it. All of it combined. <coughs> you know, the lack of sleep, keeping himself going on 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 stims. I include caffeine on that. I include caffeine. Uh, if you're neck and back, 20, 25 cups of coffee a day, you have a problem. Similar if you if, if you're just on the energy drinks all the time. And maybe that explains the excessive bulimia cuts on the knuckles, so you got these energy drinks that have sugar in them, I don't know, a lot of, it's spec a lot of this has got, it's got to be speculation, but we combine all these things together, it's, just, it's kind of obvious, really, and the lack of sleep, stims, including caffeine, the eating disorder, the body dysmorphia, the, the workaholism, the YouTubing, you know, the sleep when I'm dead sort of attitude towards things. Gotta get the views, you gotta get the subscribers, you gotta get the clients, the new clients, you gotta get the money coming in. Stress, stress, stress. Sink or swim. You gotta get the thumbnail pics for the YouTube, you gotta you know get the pics coming in, looking as good as possible to get people clicking on, getting subscribed and getting the views, getting the ad payments, getting new new it's all, it's all combined, it's all combined, the eating disorder, the body dysmorphia, all of it together.
all of it together just combined, his heart just couldn't take it. His heart just could not take it. The real, the big one, the big one that stands out there. The knuckles, the baldness. Major problems there. Really. Come with surprise when you combine all those things, uh, his heart was wouldn't be able to cope. The lack of food, the lack of too much exercise. The, the exercise in itself, that, that, that's the least of my worries about him. The body will just compensate for that. If you're not eating enough, the body will just compensate, and, and no matter how hard you try, you're just going to have to rest. You can't, you can't force that, even if you're taking stems to try and force it, including caffeine. This won't work. I like two hours a day intense exercise isn't that much of a problem. But the eating disorder though, the lack of sleep and obsession with it's just an obsession with personality. But fundamentally we have to accept that uh, he was on the path to that way to destruction for a long time. Some people will say, like, well, he's a YouTuber and he's offering all this good advice. Why isn't he following his own advice? Because it's deliberate. He's on the pathway to destruction. It's, it's a long suicide. It's a long suicide in a public domain, public viewing. You can see it happening. That's very sad. It's scary as well. Obviously, you know, I don't know his personal life. Why he was in that sort of destructive mind. But yeah, he was deliberate. He killed himself. So I'm just going to leave the last word with Scott. Scott very much was, he would very much say, do as I say, don't do as I do.